SCQ when I come out of Delta on the Florida, man. Hey, watch out for CSSP, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to my boy Chief of Skates, man. CSSP, man. We hold it down, man. Keep it real. CXSP today we have Master Q here, one of the local artists out of Deltona, Florida. He's been wrecking the scene, killing the streets here. So we're just here to ask him a couple questions today. I know you want to find out a little bit more about this artist, man. So how you been, man? First of all, before we even start this whole interview, man, how, how you been, man? I've been good, man. Been real good, man. Just, just living life, man. And feeling great, man. You know what I'm saying? Just drop the vision. You know what I mean? EP out there, you know what I'm saying? Audio Mac, SoundCloud. Yes, you know, it's soon to be available on all the other um, web sources uh, coming up there soon. So, yeah, man, I got some moves on making, man. It's 2017. Okay. Word up. That's what's up, man. We gotta give you some love, man. You know what I'm saying? I seen you. You did a show the other night. You were at what? Cleo's, right? Yeah, I know. I seen you out there with, uh, I believe, Black Boss was out there. You guys wrecked the yeah. show, man. Them, them, them hoes was dancing. Yeah, they were going crazy yeah, yeah. out there, man. For real, them hoes was going <laughs> crazy. If y'all didn't see it, man, I'm sorry if you didn't get a chance to see it, but Master Q and Black Boss Roast. wrecked the show, man. They roasted that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? When did you start doing music, man? Alright, so uh, I've been doing music my whole life, really, man. But I mean, when I really started taking music seriously was, uh, I would say, I could date it back to November of 2015. Me and my boy Ish, uh, you know, we got together in the studio. And that's when I, I decided, like, yo, I'm going to rap. So I took that shit heavy. Man, serious stuff. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Like a lot of artists, I always they laugh about this, but what was your first song? Do you remember your first song? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it was probably a while ago, you know. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I mean, I remember my first song. Like, I put out a little track, man, back uh, in, in Heritage and shit. That was Heritage Middle over here off of Cortland. And uh, that was uh, back in 2006 and shit. But, I mean, my first, like, track that I really pushed was uh, with my boy Ish when uh, we dropped Boomerang. And that was in November of 2015. Okay. And uh, when I got home, uh, I did three years, you know, Airborne Infantry in Alaska uh, out there in Anchorage. When I got home back here in Deltona, Florida... You know, when I got uh, back from the army in 2016 in January, I just started pushing music. You okay. know, so but the first track that I that I really promoted was in uh, November of 2015. That track's called Boomerang. Okay, what's the song about? It's uh, the presence comes away, then comes back at you like a boomerang. The presence goes away, then comes back at you like a boomerang. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's just like how it is as an artist. Like, you know, I'm always gonna be living within you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like almost like um, like as if like this this aura of just music or art just comes around in your life and it leaves sometimes but it'll come back in your life it's, it's almost like a tie like you stuck to like some type of art for for forever in your existence you know what i'm saying okay. so you feel me like that's what it's all about right there man you know as artists like all of our forms of art is you know it's always going to be relevant so you know what i'm saying like although you know i might not be relevant to you at the moment you know i'm like but i'm gonna come back at you somehow you gonna you gonna see me out here you know? i believe that me? man we see you know you dropping shit every week it seems like you know on soundcloud your soundcloud has been going up you know you just dropped the ep you guys go check out the ep you know it's the vision don't forget about that your boy master q out here completely murdered the game man you know you know you got any up and coming projects what's new what can you leak to the people out here who, who are definitely wondering you know they question man you know what i'm saying that's tmi for them right <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just playing no nah, man you know i'm thinking about my next project or what i want to work on really i'm pushing this project heavy now you know it's a new year so now that i just released this it's really just the promotion on this you know so far so I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about visuals, you know what I'm saying? Some more shows up and coming. You know, I know y'all seen enough of my shows, but y'all ain't going to stop seeing enough of my shows because I'm going to keep on coming back at y'all with more motherfucking shows. I'm never going <laughs> to stop performing, you know what I mean? Word so, up. yeah, man, I just got a couple things, you know, a couple tricks up my sleeve, man. Word. Could, um, if you could do a feature with any artist, any, any mainstream artist right now, I'm talking about like the Uzi Birds and Yachty. Kodaks and they don't have to be necessarily that, but you know, just a mainstream artist right now. Who would it be? That's one man, and that's Kendrick Lamar. Uh, that man has uh, affected me so heavy in my life uh, back in 2012, and when when he dropped Good Kid, Mad City, the album, and uh, that shit blew up, man. That shit, that shit affected me. Word up. 
one the last question. I know you got a lot of, you know, shit going on. You know, you constantly moving and shit. It's hard to get a hold of you. Um, you know, where do you see yourself as far as your music career, you know, in like a year from now? Basically like today, but like a year from now. Most definitely, man. Um, I can definitely see myself, uh, well, I would like to say, see, I see myself going so fucking far, man, going global. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I always see for myself. The absolute best is what I see for myself at all times. But, you know, it's just uh, how life plays out and how things happen is, you know, you push for what you get. But, you know what I'm saying? You get what you give. So, therefore, you know what I mean? Like, I see I see some major things happen, man. I see music, you know, going out all over the place, man, and, and being a, definitely a global sensation. So, you know, in a year from now, man, if I continue to keep on pushing the way that I am, I can see major success. Yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you. Well, I want to thank you, Master Q, for kicking out with us here at CXSP. You know, it took you a lot of time in your day. You know, you got a lot of shit going on, you know what I'm saying? So, you guys, you heard it first here from Master Q, the master himself. You know, don't forget the Q. You know, the vision out now. Go check that out. You know what I'm saying? Here at CXSP, we get it first. You know, so keep it locked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, hell yeah, man. It's Master Q out here. You know what I'm saying? Delta on the Florida out here with my man, Cheap Escapes, man. Shouts out to CXSP. You know what I'm saying? You already know what it is, man. Go get the motherfucking vision, man. Soon to be on every motherfucking web source you can think of, man. Go on SoundCloud. Go on Audio Mac and get that shit right now, man. I'm going to leave a link to his description in the bottom. You guys can check him out. He's going to have all his info at the bottom. You know, don't forget to show my boy some love. You know what I'm saying? He's out here wrecking these Deltona streets. Let's get it. We out. That was dope as fuck. Yeah. That was dope as fuck. Yeah. <laughs>